Hey guys, Jessica Donald Movie here, and today I'm reviewing a Star Wars Rogue One Sergeant Jin Urso figure. As she's a highly skilled soldier in the Rebel Alliance, Jin Urso is an impetuous, defiant warrior, eager to bring the battle to the Empire. Jin has little patience for debate within Alliance High Command enough so she takes matters into her own hands. We wanted this figure for quite a while. Yeah, they didn't release her right off the bat. Think. So she has this cloak cover here. No elbows or knees, which is always sad in my opinion. I'm big on articulation. No ankles. Hands don't turn. Got her for four dollars at Walmart, and she's worth all of four dollars, and probably not a penny more, just because there's not a lot to her. Hard to believe they were twelve dollars, you know. She's got a pistol. Outfit doesn't come off. Decent head sculpt. Could use a little more brown paint around the edges. Head sculpt looks nice though. It does look like her to a degree, so you know, quite happy about that. She comes with a bazooka of some sort. We've got this weapon here, which is also made about as cheaply as possible. Now remember back in the day when you used to push a button and missiles fired out? Yeah, they decided to get rid of the button. So it just sits in there, and then you're supposed to bump it, and it's supposed to launch out. Now the spring isn't that bad, but the mechanism is kind of lame. So me and a friend fired this maybe 20 times total, and the missile just flew off to the side. I won't be putting it back in today. But uh, it wouldn't stay in anymore after like 20 times. I didn't put it in wrong or anything. It just kind of stopped working right. And uh, that was kind of sad. She can hold it kind of like so. Not that she uses this weapon in the movie, but, you know, it exists. I like it more like that than with the actual missile in it. Well, other than the ball-jointed head... There's nothing more to say about this figure. It's very, very simple. Doesn't have a great center of balance. And, uh, yeah, I'd really like to see Star Wars put some more quality into their figures. I hate to say that every single time, but it's true. They made G.I. Joe, and they had like 20 points of articulation. They were amazing. I'd love to see that same quality in the Star Wars figure line. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe as I post a new toy review just about every other day. And make sure to follow me on Facebook, Joshua Gondama. There's a link for me down below. Also, check out my eBay store where a lot of the toys I review end up. See you guys later.